Summer's winding down and every moment is starting to feel precious. Very. News 12's Brian Donahue hit the boardwalk in Seaside Heights to catch up backstage with the Jersey Shore music legend whose life story drives that message home 12 months a year. It's a perfect Saturday night on the Seaside Heights boardwalk and inside the Beachcomber Bar, a three foot man in a wheelchair rolls past drinkers largely unnoticed until he's hoisted to the stage and promptly blows the doors off the joint. Shorty Long on the Jersey Horns. For 20 years, a staple of the Shore cover band scene, playing 200 nights a year with a rotating cast of two dozen musicians and a catalog of 5,000 songs. From Stevie Wonder to Neil Diamond to Beyonce. Led by a lead singer, Ricky Tish, AKA Shorty Long, who along with his band realized at some point along the road, his disability just may be his superpower. Because if you can't rap it yourself, then what, what the hell are you doing wrong? Originally from Hillside and raised in Brick, he was born with osteogenesis imperfecta, known as brittle bone disease. He started playing piano when he was five. It was the first thing that I could do better than most people. Like, you know, like I, I couldn't, I didn't have sports and I didn't have, uh, you know, all the other stuff that most kids are doing. Tonight, as on many nights, the band is joined by Ron Brooks, who had both legs amputated at age nine and was raised in an orphanage. He met Ricky when the two were in a talent show together as kids. And I heard him playing. I'm going, my God, who is this? You know, who is this kid? You know, he's so good. Never heard anybody better. Brooks takes the spotlight for the national anthem. And then the almost too perfect for the occasion, Jersey Girl. Yeah, a packed boardwalk bar, an airtight band working the crowd with precision. It's a ritual that's long been a celebration of our fleeting Jersey summers. But when there's a front man on stage with a story like this, I dare say it becomes a bit more of a celebration of life itself. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey. Shorty Long and the Jersey Horns have plenty of gigs left this summer and keep performing long after Labor Day. And you can find their schedule on their social media accounts, including at Shorty Long Rocks on Instagram.